welcome to Live Long in Color. I want to thank everyone for stopping by and joining me today. Today's video is my completed pages video for the month of July 2022. So before I get started, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel, liked and commented on my videos. You're all so greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so, so much. And now let's get started. Okay, so as always, I'm going to start with the statistics. I have done a total of 88 pages. 54 of them were from physical books. 34 were from PDFs. Out of that, 60 were non-colored by number and 28 were colored by number. I uh, worked in 10 new books for 2022. Like I said, that's books that are maybe not brand new, but I hadn't colored in them yet this year. Out of the 10 books to finish, I colored in nine. I had planned to do 30 pages and I actually did 43. And I actually completed three books. So now that all that's been said, let's get into it. Okay, so first up we have Grains of Gold by Hannah Carlson. I did two pages in here. I did these flowers here. I used polychromos with um, Arteza gel pen. Eyeshadow background and the same for this one. Polychromos, uh, Arteza gel pen and eyeshadow background. The only thing I would have done differently, I think, on this one is I would have done the inside of this butterfly a different color but other than that I really like how they look really pretty next we have Star Wars by Hachette Heroes I did this page this is the ATST I use super tips art skills and Heath Roan black marker for that also for this one with the Anakin, the only thing was that this was supposed to be all blue and um, after I noticed that this was section was supposed to be white, I went back and used white Posca and made it white. So far I'm enjoying this book. I will say that the colors do bleed through, but I went back to the other Disney and I think this paper is a lot thinner. So I'm hoping that it doesn't really do that with the Disney books like it's doing um, with this one because as you can see this is water base and it's still uh, bleeding through this paper next we have a hundred flower designs by mantra craft um, I did this one with Tombow markers Artisa pencil eyeshadow background and I did this one with Bic Intensity and eyeshadow background. I did this a darker color down here to kind of make it look like it's sitting on a table. I don't know how effective it is, but I like it. Next we have Sweet and Simple. Whimsy Girls, Mermaids, and More to Color by Hannah Lynn. I did these two lovely ladies here, markers, glitter gel pen, eyeshadow background for her, and um, marker background for her. Next, we have Chibi Girls Coloring Book Volume 3 by April Amber. I did her markers, glitter gel pen, Crayola crayons for the sand and the sky. And her with just various markers and confetti crayons for the background. I think that's it, yes. Then we have Chibi Girls 4 in 1 Grade Scale by Jade Summer. I did this one. I used markers and glitter gel pens. Uh, I used white Uniball Signal for the waves. Then I did this one with markers and glitter gel pen. I really like the way she looks. Really like it. And then this one. <laughs> okay, so this one I just used various markers. 
and I decided to use the banana washi tape that I have because uh, let's face it she's going bananas so <laughs> that's what I did there next is country chibis by Alexander Frances I did this one I really love the way she came out I used blick markers um, I did her half and half kind of went opposite so if this was orange this was yellow this was orange and then the opposite on the side green and blue eyes eyeshadow background then I did her just with various markers um, this part here and the sky is all eyeshadow and I really like the way it looks I'm enjoying this book a lot and then we have happy mermaids coloring book by coloring book Kim I did this one and markers glitter gel pen eyeshadow background and when I did her I did her inside the book and the blotter page moved so her little arm came out onto this one so I tried to cover it up with the oil pastel background um, that didn't work so then I ended up putting these two circles here and that covered it up pretty good so I will say that oil pastels does not work well in this book at least the ones that I used which were did I not write it down Crayola they were they didn't lay down very easily the if it got into the other parts it was hard to erase and I probably will not use oil pastels in this book again then we have 50 diminutive countryside scenes by Camelia Anjakova mark just various markers and an eyeshadow background on this I really like the the color of the house and the purple fence I really like it okay next we have beautiful gardens by coloring book cafe I did this one uh, various markers the metallic markers for the uh, bucket and the um, water pump and then I used eyeshadow not eyeshadow sorry marker background and the marker I used was darker than I really kind of wanted but I like the way it looks it makes it look like it's in the twilight so I still like it it came out pretty good secret gardens sorry secret garden 2 by Ava Brown I did this one I used Crayola crayons for the grass the tree and the sky and then I highlighted it in marker used marker for the door and some of the other um, things there and glitter gel pen for the ladybug next we have secret village summer by Ava Brown I did this one with various markers I used crayons for the grass here and here and for the sky then we have chibi animals by Ava Brown I did this cute little um, panda and the story behind this is I don't know why I thought that this was water that he I don't know I just had this like idea and so after I colored it I went oh that's the tree that he's sitting on so I just went with it made all the tree these trees blue with blue leaves and you know what I really really like the way it came out it makes the panda stand out and then I just used yellow uh, Crayola crayons for the background next we have Owl Kingdom coloring book by coloring book cafe I did the wizard markers and glitter gel pens very shiny and I did the aviator here I use glitter gel pens for everything except for the plane uh, the plane I did in metallic marker and then I took the embossing tool that I bought at Dollar Tree and I made these dots with acrylic paint to mimic rivets on the plane and I really like the way uh, this came out pretty nice 
And then we have Well Dressed Pets by Crayola. I did this one and originally I was thinking more Henry Higgins from My Fair Lady, but then my husband said he looked more like uh, Hugh Hefner. And after he said that, I could totally see that. And I kind of wish I would have gone red instead of the blue. But yeah, I have this. And then I have this one. Um, markers for various markers for both of them. And I use a bit of metallic here for the bar stools. Next, we have Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. I did this little cutie reading in the library. I thought this was going to take me a while to do all these books, but what I did is I just took my pen and gear markers, just grabbed them randomly, and went through, and it didn't take any time at all. I did use a bit of glitter gel pen on the, on the dragon, and that is Baby Dragons by Jade Summer. Here's one of the favorite books that I bought this year. This is Dragons with Pets by Becca Gollins. I did this cutie one here with um, the hedgehog. And I used markers and glitter gel pens. And I really like him. I like that I used orange for him or her. And then I did this one oh, with the fox. So cute. Markers and uh, glitter gel pens for this one also. Really adorable. Next, we have Relaxing Summer by Sally Berry. This is the book that I created off of the PDF that I bought from Etsy. I put uh, two pages on each page, and I decided to count them as one page and not two. In my counts, I used markers, glitter gel pens, white uniball signo, um, marker background here, Crayola uh, confetti background on this side. Then we have New Easy Coloring by Joshua Dunbar. Now these first two pages I actually did in May, but I forgot to show them because they had gotten stuck to the back of the other ones that I had. Um, this one I actually did on camera on a video showing how I color with oil pastels using uh, um, colored pencils. And then I did this one also, oil pastels and colored pencils. This was done, also done in May. This one was done this month. This is my uh, uh, Excalibur page. I did markers, a little bit of glitter gel pen on the butterflies, metallic marker for the sword, and then I used eyeshadow on the background and it made the sword glow, sort of like, you know, since it's Excalibur, I went, whoa, so you can see the sword. And then I have this mouse I did with oil pastels, uh, colored pencils, eyeshadow background. Next we have Easy Coloring by Jade Summer. Um, this is also, the artist is also Joshua Dunbar. I used ink tents for this and instead of activating it with water, I used the um, colorless blenders that come in your marker set. I don't remember who I saw do that on YouTube. I think there was a couple of different videos, but I don't remember. But it works beautifully. Um, I really like that technique better than using water. So I'll be using it more in the future. Oil, I mean oil pastel, no, eyeshadow for the background of this. And I also did this one. And my thought process being now... Um, I really like using these ink tents on these simple pictures. I am not very proficient at using them with the more detailed pages. So um, that's what I'm planning on doing more often. And I used eyeshadow background for that. 100 Easy Designs by uh, Coloring Book Cafe. I did this lemonade page. I love lemonade. I'm not allowed to drink it anymore, um, but I still like it. Um, I used, what did I use on this? 
<laughs> this one, I used the Shuttle Art gel crayons for everything. Highlighted it a little bit with pencil and eyeshadow background for that. This one I used Gold Faber and hi, buddy. Did you want to? Do you want to say hi? Huh? I'm babysitting my or kitty sitting actually my son's cat while he's on vacation so he decided to come say hi uh, let me pause this for a second I was saying I use gold faber and polychromos pencils for this um, eyeshadow in the background um, normally I don't use this is like a little quirk I have I don't use uh, usually two different brands on the same picture but I did on this one because I wanted to see how the flowers would come out so that's what I did there this one I was testing out my I call them my Y cube oil pastels um, don't ask me the name it's like an alphabet name and um, I just did them with that and the uh, highlighted a bit with colored pencils eyeshadow background and the same for this one and I really like the way this cheeky came out I like this washi tape, how this washi tape looks with this. I really like this one. Next, we have 100 Easy Spring by Demita Victoria. I did this with markers and glitter gel pens. Um, Crayola crayon for the background. And then I use the embossing tool and put little yellow dots with the acrylic paint. I wanted this to look like little dandelions in there. And then this one was also done with ink tents with uh, eyeshadow background. And I will say that one thing that's important to do is to clean the tip on the um, alcohol blender because normally what I do is I start with the light color and work my way to the dark colors but in this case I started with the yellow but I forgot to clean it from the last time I did it so it had a lot of green on it so I just went with it don't mind it kind of like the way it looks actually so that is a very important tip make sure you clean off the alcohol blender before using lighter colors because it will um, bleed the color will bleed onto the the color that you're using it on then we have Good Vibes by Coloring Book Cafe. This one I used Black Widow pencils. And originally I did the letters in Black Widow pencil, but they came out blending in too much with the background. So I went over it with uh, the Ohuhu um, glitter markers. And it came out very streaky because it didn't go over the pencil very well. I did not put any background. I thought it was busy enough that it didn't need it. And I really like the way that looks, actually. Next is Summertime by Sally Berry. I did one picture in here. Markers and white uniball signal for the waves and the clouds. And I put a little bit of uh, the anchor from the washi tape on the flag. Then we have Stained Glass by Timeless Creation. I did this. I saw this and I thought that the uh, tree, the way it was situated, kind of looked like a rainbow. So I did it in rainbow colors. And for the background, I think that's crayon. Confetti crayon, yes, in the background. So I really enjoyed this page. Then I had two color by number that were not on my 10 books to finish. The first one was Spring Awakening by Deborah Muller. Did this page with Crayola Super Tips. And then I have this one, Stained Glass Dazzling Art to Color and Display by Deborah Muller. And I also did this one with the Crayola Super Tips. Um, the Crayola Super Tips do come out a big, bit streaky, but I love the way that they laid down on this paper. And so I will probably be do, using super tips in this for the whole thing because I'm having a lot of fun with that. 
Next, we're going to get into the 10 books to finish. I will start with the ones that <clears throat> I still have more to go and then go to the ones I've already finished. Okay, so now we have uh, Party Patterns by the Belba family. I did three in the month of June. I did Summertime Party. I did Barbie's Party. And everything was done with the Bic Intensity Ultra Fine Markers. And last but not least is uh, the Father's Day page. Then we have Disney Love Stories by Hachette Heroes. Let's see, it started here. I have um, Rapunzel and Flynn. Then I have Todd and Vixie from The Fox and the Hound, Wally and Eva, Woody and Bo Peep, there we go. Naveen and uh, Tiana. And the last one I did for this month was Robin and Marion from Robin Hood. Okay, next we have A Year in Flowers by Jessica Mazurkowitz. I did the summer page. All of these done were done with Prismacolor pencils. This one I also used some glitter gel pen and eyeshadow background. This one is also, like I said, Prismacolor. And this one. Lines, dots, line spots, dots, Christmas by Kira Shershnova. I did the Santa in his sleigh. And I did the Christmas tree. And then the last of the books that I still have to finish for this year is Nature by Duncan Smith. I did the camel. All of these are done with Crazy Art Pencil. So I did the camel, the bulldog, this page, the flower, koala, seahorses, and the toucan. Now, these are all the books that I have completed. I um, got them done early for this year. Um, I have a flip through of the completed books on my channel. I will link them in the description below. All of these are done with markers and the Crayola twistable background. And it's funny, but almost all of these have the same color palette here in the back towards the end. That's it. Cute Cats by Sachin and Such Diva. I did two here this month. These are done with crayons. I did this one and this one. Gods and Goddesses by Ava Brown. Let's see, where did I start? I started with Celine here. Markers and glitter gel pen. Crayons here for the rocks. A little bit of white Uniball Signal for the stars. Phantos, I did. Um, loosely based off of Sephiroth from the Final Fantasy games. Um, I used markers and glitter gel pens. A little bit of regular Crayola for the rocks and the confetti for the uh, background there. Famous, I did markers, glitter gel pen, crayons for the grass and the sky, 
and the little dot method to kind of mimic marble <laughs> it, there. Triton, I did markers, glitter gel pen, metallic markers, white Posca pen for the waves. Tichi, I did with markers, glitter gel pens, and a little bit of crayons in the background. White uh, Posca on the water. And the last one in this book that I did was Zeus, uh, markers, and glitter gel pens for him. Um, and the gooder, I just outlined it. I didn't do the whole thing. I really like the way that looked, actually. Okay. And the very last book that I'm going to show you is 100 Magnificent Mandalas. Um, these are all PDFs. I created my own book here. Uh, I did these two pages. Everything was done with various glitter gel pens, just randomly selected in the color scheme. These two. And the last two pages are this one. And this one, which was my favorite for the month. I really love the color, the colors that came out on that one. So that is it for the month of June 2022. I want to thank everyone for sticking by me throughout the video. And until I see you next time, stay, stay safe, be happy, and live long in color. Bye-bye.